Now it is 638 on your Friday football Friday night. Thankfully for fans, not going to be as bad as it could be out there tonight. That's right. It's actually going to feel like the temperatures they are outside as opposed to 10 to 15 degrees hotter. Thanks to the low humidity we're going to have in place today, but not to worry. The heat is not done for the season. That is for sure, especially as we get into next week. Here's a live look over downtown. The sun beginning to come up here on this Friday morning. It does not rise until 7 a.m. Officially, that's the latest we've seen so far, and it's not going to come up before 7 a.m. Again until March 3rd, 66. The current number here in Macon, the winds, they are calm. Dew point is 65, so it does feel a little sticky right now. 65 in Forsyth, 67 in Roberta, Butler and in Monica. Azuma 68 and Warner Robin 66 in Wrightsville and 68 in Sparta. Again, those dew points in the mid 60s, so it does have a humid touch outside, but the dew points are going to stay in the 60s today as temperatures rise, and that's what matters because that's going to make it not feel as humid outside. The radar is quiet across central Georgia, and for that matter, quiet across the southeast. Not that much going on except for a whole lot of heat out to the west. It is 539 in the morning in Dallas, Texas, and it's 87 degrees, so I will take our 66 any day we can get it. Here's a look at future view as we work our way into the noon hour. Mid to upper 80s across central Georgia later on this afternoon, maybe one or two sprinkles. Temperatures in the 90s for tailgate 13 over there at Crawford County High School. On into the evening tonight, a shower or two will be possible, but I really think the vast majority of us will stay dry for football games as temperatures cool from 90 through the 80s down into the upper 70s. Then into tomorrow morning, widespread low 70s, upper 60s, and then into tomorrow afternoon, a slightly better rain chance at about 20 percent as temperatures find their way back into the 90s. I think we've got the better chance for storms to come your way on Sunday, namely Sunday afternoon. There's 2 p.m. there, but play this forward into the evening hours with a surge of moisture coming in off the Atlantic. That's going to drive our humidity up, but also raise our shower and storm chance. Here's what I'm talking about in terms of the humidity. Dew points in the 60s today. We'll take it tomorrow a bit higher. I'm going to be looking at upper 60s, but then for Sunday, you see that surge of dark green. That is the Atlantic moisture making a comeback here across the southeast, and that is going to drive up the values and the humidity, the dew point values that is, as we get into the latter part of the weekend. So even though our humidity is not going to be too high today, Today, it is still going to feel a couple degrees hotter than the actual air temperature out there. Feel like the mid 90s outside 95 for Saturday, 95 on Sunday, a slightly better storm chance on Sunday at 30% hour by hour today, quickly warming up into the 80s by 11 a.m. I suspect we'll get into the 90s about the two o'clock hour high temperature around 92 lower humidity that is going to be in place. It's still going to be a hot afternoon though and for football Friday night tonight again looking for temperatures to be around 90 to start 89 90 sunset at 816 and then wrapping things up with a mild night, a temperature of about 82. On into next week, 98 for Monday, 101 for Tuesday and Wednesday. As I mentioned, the humidity builds back in, so it is going to feel hotter than that each day next week, likely approaching heat advisory criteria.